Hello my little woolies. In this tutorial you will learn four techniques to bind off different kinds of knitting patterns such as the classic fisherman's rib, the tweed stitch and the no curl stockinet stitch. You will also see how to bind off working each stitch as it presents because some of you have told me that it's still difficult to distinguish the niche stage from the pearl stage. All the stitches are here on my channel and on my website sewwoolly.net and you will find the links below this video and also if you click this little eye on the right corner of the screen. Working each stitch as it presents this is a pretty recurrent phrase in the instructions of many stitch patterns which combine knitting and purling. It simply means that we need to do what we see. If we see a purl stitch, it looks like a notch or a hyphen, we purl that stitch and bind off. If we see a knit stitch, it looks like a V, we knit that stitch and bind off. Okay, let's bind off the purl stitch. The first thing we see is a purl stitch, so we purl. Then we see another purl stitch and we purl it. And pass the first stitch on the right hand needle from right to left over the last one. Now we see a V, that means it's a knit stitch, so we knit that stitch and pass the first stitch on the right hand needle from right to left over this last one. Now I see another bump, I know I have to purl that stitch and pass the other stitch over this one. Another bump, so we purl and pass the stitch over. Another bump or notch or hyphen, we purl that stitch and pass the previous one over. Now we see the V, so we have to knit that stitch and pass the last one over. And keep repeating. As I said, we knit what we see. If you knit continental style, if you see the bump, you purl and pass the stitch over. Another bump, bump we purl and pass the stitch over. Another bump. So we purl and pass the stitch over. Now we see the V. So we knit and pass the stitch over. And keep repeating to the end of the row. I'm finishing here so we see a purl stitch. We purl it and pass the stitch over. And we can knit the last one and pass the stitch over. So now we can cut the yarn, leaving a tail of around 4 inches or 10 centimeters, and pass it through the last loop. And we get a stretchy and pretty bind off that also matches the pattern perfectly. To bind off the no curling stocking at stitch version, we start knitting the first three stitches as usual. So we knit the first, the second and the third. And we're going to pass the first stitch on the right hand needle from right to left over the other two. So we have two stitches on the right hand needle. We knit the next and repeat past the first one from right to left over the other two. And we have two stitches on the right hand needle. Knit the next and repeat past the first one over the other two. If you knit continental style, you have to knit the first three stitches as we did before and pass the first over the other two. We knit the next and pass over the other two. And keep repeating. Knit the next 
and pass the first over the other two to the end of the row. When there is one stitch left knitted, pass the first over the other two and pass the first over the last one. Now we can cut the yarn. Remember, always leave the tail so you can hide it afterwards and pull it through the last loop. And that's done. To bind off the tweed stitch, because it has slip stitches, the fabric behaves differently. We have to work on the right side of the work and we start with purl one, purl the next two stitches together. and pass the first over the last one. And now comes the repeat. Purl one and pass the first over this last one and purl two together. and pass the first over this last one. So that's the repeat. Let's do it again. Purl one, pass over, purl two together, pass over. Purl one, pass over, purl two together, pass over. If you need continental, the repeat is purl one, pass over, purl two together, and pass the first over the last one. So keep repeating to the end of the row. And when there is only one stitch left, pass the stitch on the right hand needle onto the left hand needle and purl these two stitches together. And now we can cut the yarn and pull it through this last loop and close it. To bind off the classic fisherman's rib stitch, this is an easy one. Normally we have two selvage stitches, the first and the last one that will be knitted on every row. So we start with knit one and now we'll see a column of V's. Every time you see it, you know that you have to knit but inserting the needle in the stitch from the row below and passing the first stitch over this last one. Then we see the column of double notes of hyphens. We purl that stitch as usual and pass the previous stitch over. And repeat. Knit one, inserting the needle in the stitch from the row below, pass the stitch over, purl one, and pass the other stitch over and keep repeating to the end of the row. If you need continental, insert the needle, knitting the stitch from the row below, pass the stitch over, and now purl the next one, and pass the stitch over. Knit one from the row below, pass over, purl one, 
a normal one, pulse over. When you get to the last one, knit, pass the stitch over, and pull the yarn through this last loop. And that's it. A nice stretchy edge for the Fisherman Strip Stitch. And that's everything for today, my little Willy. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching and for all your lovely comments. Stay safe and happy knitting.